if we were to go a few days later, perhaps as long as a week, seven days, if we do that, then clearly Chloe is not going to move in. She has her own life and things like that, right? So, um, so I want to address something about that. Uh, but on the other hand, you do have the notebook and you do have the ring in at least some kind of confinement. And you do have, uh, well, what's left of Adam. Uh, you do also have a few other uh, considerations. Uh, for example, um, uh, Clara, I believe. is No, Clara is the sister. Rosa, uh, who is Livia's mother. True. Um, who we have not seen very much of. And, no, and, true. And then we also have... Uh, so if Chloe wants to stay and investigate this sorceress demonic situation, she can. Um, so anyway, I'd like just like to ask you, I don't want to push any further now. I just want to find out from you without telling me stories about what you said or what you did or anything like that. Just tell me the current status of your characters. I, I can even ask you. Where do you want to be, and how much time do you want to go by? Mm, um, for me, I guess, I mean, for Chloe, I, I think she's really intrigued by this whole situation, so she's really curious about Livia, and uh, I, 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 I feel she would be quite open to discuss her power and things like right. this, so, I mean, she would explain everything, and... Um, she asks also a lot of questions, and she would probably also be curious about um, getting rid of the ring and the whole thing. But she also wants to take care of like what's ha what happened sure. with the police. I, and I guess I want to say again, I want a little less explanation and a little bit more description. I want to know yeah. where your character is and how long it has been. I know what where I could be, but um, personally, uh, I should have. I'm, well, I don't know in what status is my mother, but but I'm sure I I visited her, so I'm at the hospital. Okay. Uh, for me, I probably would be back in my house. Uh, trying to figure out uh, what happened with the police thing. So maybe three days, uh, half past. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. if three days have passed and you are addressing your home situation and things of that kind, and then also Livia is attending to her mother and attempting effectively to return to some normality from the, uh, after all, that is what, um, that is what Epiphany is good at for a creepy church demon uh, <laughs> cult kind of creature. Uh, strangely enough, she is best at helping you make your way in dealing with ordinary life which is you don't really have much of an ordinary life, but when you have to deal with things of that kind, you're good at it. So uh, let's take a look then at what you may have found out during the interactions you have had in your meeting and in the next few days. Let's find out what questions you may have addressed I want I don't I want to start playing, but I also don't want to leave behind anything that you would say. Oh, my character would have done that mm. in that time. Mm -hmm. So let's think a little bit about what you could have cooperated upon, or asked about, or <laughs> offered to each other, or not uh, during that time. So you want me to teach you some things. Well, 
I want to know if I can learn something about you. And surely I want, I would like to know if you can know more about this demon and, and all this thing that's happening to me. What's your insight about this? Well, I mean, I'm open to help you with your dad, uh, if that's what you want. I mean, I'm pretty convincing, so that could help. And yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like it's his fault what happened to Adam, as well as the demon uh, Heritage. So I mean, if you want to get rid of it, um, I'm going to help you. That is the question, too. What do you want to do about this thing? I want to be sure it's contained. <laughs> I'm mean, very <laughs> sure. And if we can banish this thing, I think... I mean, I don't really understand what's happening to me and what will happen to me. So I really... I want to banish this thing, <laughs> actually. Yeah, we have to try it again, definitely. Okay. Uh... Yeah, for sure. Okay. So if you are thinking about a banishing ritual and thinking about what must be done, this is a matter of some interest to examine, uh, for example, what Adam may have learned from the notebook and also to understand uh, perhaps some of the things that Henri had been trying to say or mm -hmm. had been saying in his strange fashion. Henri, by the way, is uh, getting worse and worse and is uh, probably needs to be hospitalized not too soon from now. Or not, sorry, not too long from now. Is it a natural thing? Like, is yes, he more just or old? Less. Yes, more or that, that's what it looks like. But it's progressing very fast. I'm still wondering if he deserves it or no. Of course he deserves it. Hmm. I mean, if you don't want to take him to the hospital, I will take him. Well, I, I did not really want to raise that as a controversy. Okay. I'm just describing <laughs> the situation at the moment. Okay. And the... Um, the first thing we would need to do is to check some lore rolls to see. Yeah, I think how Adam was involved in the thing is an interesting thing to, to know too. Let's examine that first. Let's see what happens when the two of you uh, work together to understand what's in Chloe's notebook, which is interesting because Chloe wrote it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you are looking at it from a different perspective now, perhaps. And perhaps can see what you were saying that you didn't know you were saying precisely. So, uh, first thing to do uh, then would be to roll a little bit uh, mm -hmm. with your own lore, your own lore rolls, which are so high. And now both of you are saying, oh, well, lore is just a dump thing. I can just keep that low and be just as good a sorcerer, and I can just be all strong and high willpower and all that stuff. And I would just have a little baby lore, and that is okay. I mean, what could that hurt? I had a doubt, so I put three. Uh, but... Not good. Oh, okay. Seven. Seven is okay. better than two. No, sure. so, uh, I'm just... Okay, I, I have a seven. Oh. <laughs> Weird. Uh, you rolled three dice, Gregory, is that correct? Yes. You have three victories, complete victory. Uh, you have a two lore, is that correct, for Chloe? Yes. Okay, and that, so that is two victories, complete victory. That is kind of ridiculous that both of you rolled complete victories. My highest yes. die is a six. What is the effect of a um, complete victory? It is qualitative. It just means really good. <laughs> You take what okay. is whatever has happened and you make it better. Okay. So uh, that I resent this greatly, and so now <laughs> I have to I have to be very forthcoming. Well, let us be clear that your demons uh, are both 
manifesting a disturbing uh, appreciation for heritage. So mm -hmm. the windows all are featuring this beautiful ring. Um, and they've in, in in all of their their designs, whether they are abstract designs or whether they are pictures of people, the windows are showing this ring prominently in place over and over. Uh, the same thing has happened to a lot of your songs. Structurally, they are beginning to turn into the kind of song that loops back onto itself, so that technically you could sing it in a ongoing repeated fashion. <laughs> And also, uh, the uh, the topics are very much about the songs are starting to sound. I mean, if you're looking at the songs and saying, "Why did I never notice this before?" Um, but they are talking a great deal about how well everything changes, but it all comes back to the same thing anyway. And we have you know, social strife, but then we have peace and stability, and then we have strife, and then we have peace and stability, and it all is one big beautiful thing, and it is okay. And so the, uh, the song that you sang at the event, uh, which Jasmine helped you with, mm -hmm. uh, broke that pattern kind of badly. It was a completely different kind of song and it had a completely different meaning. But that's not what the developments are like in the notebook. Can I check out like when uh, when it started, the, the patterns and things like this? Can I see? I suppose. I mean, you aren't, I'm going to guess that you're not exactly organized with your notebook. So it's... Uh, Okay. <laughs> Fair. Uh, but, <laughs> but on the other hand, uh, after all, I mean, you, you write in it when you are hallucinating with eating bugs. So uh, that's, that's my logic. So <laughs> the, the point that I can establish is that there has always been a very thrilling tension in your music between... Uh, uh, instability and resolution. That is a feature of your music. Mm -hmm. And that you can see a strange shift away from that that really isn't very old. And it... Uh, you might even be able to find in your notebook that somebody has been making little marks and notes that you hadn't noticed before. And it starts about that time. So apparently Adam has been sneaking looks in your notebook for a while. It dates back around to the time that you stopped seeing him. Yeah, well, I mean, if he was a sorcerer before, I would have seen it, right? Right. So no, he was just peeking in your notebook. This man... Jesus. No, he's very beautiful okay. now. It's a very pretty picture. So, but how yes. did you access your notebook? <laughs> how did did you access your notebook when you dumped it? Dumped him? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I was always carrying it around with me because this is. You know. Well, there are all those discussions in the coffee shops and the long relationship-oriented talks in the restaurants where you fought in public and then pretended you didn't when you had to be nice to the waiter and uh, things like that. I am just guessing. but Yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I wasn't like and There always... is that period when you are broken up, but then you still see each other and things happen in the bedroom and then there's the, you know, things, it's complicated. <laughs> yeah, That's Livia, well, it's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the normal relationship. <laughs> okay. All right. So the, the question that I have is that mm -hmm. well, I have lots to tell you. That was an insanely good role. So there's many things to let you know. Uh, there is 
a lot you can learn from coordinating the rituals in the church with the contents of the notebook. The two of you have been doing different things, but they are very, very compatible. They make a lot of sense together. And so sometimes you will read something in the notebook and then Livia will say, oh, wait a minute, and will completely clarify what it means by citing her rituals. Mm. And so it's very easy for the two of you to, uh, to improve your understanding of the situation. I will be very blunt. The absolute origin of the sorcery in the situation is not exactly clear, but the the complex between an older woman and her daughter and then that daughter having a daughter, uh, that complex of, of, of relationship was given its form through the operations of this demon. So, as I mentioned before, as Henri was talking about, Whoever your father was, he wanted a perfect family, and he was willing to do anything to have it. And interestingly enough, the result of this was a perfect circle that has no beginning and no end of the grandmother, the mother, and the daughter. It's a group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Furthermore... To make it perfect, the man has to go. The man has to be gone, has to disappear. He is probably completely obliterated from existence. In terms of being still alive, yes, that's possible. He did not die. No, I see. But the that's where do you remember when you asked me that and I looked like I was yeah. a little confused? I was thinking, how on earth am I going to answer that with yes or no? And the <laughs> fact that I finally chose yes, now I'm saying your characters understand this whole thing could be completely destroyed. You could destroy Heritage, you could destroy, you could kill all three women, for example, you could. Uh, destroy the demon. Perhaps that will destroy this whole situation. Um, any of these could easily restore your father to being exactly who he was originally. So, his absence makes your situation completely stable. But it is a strange relationship. We have this... If you think about it right now, it's very, very unbeautiful. You have this grandmother who sits out there in the traffic circle and wanders around. You have, and you don't have one daughter. All the notes, all the beauty, all the harmony is about one daughter, three women, interchangeable. But you don't. You have a sister with mental or developmental delays and disorders. And you have you, who, for some reason, represent a great deal of disruption of the situation. Okay, I totally need to see my sister. <laughs> right, totally. Um, so, the, uh, the and, and I will tell you that, yes, that Clara is, it's, it's good, I mean, you and your sister, as I recall, I'm looking at the old video, that we first talked about, actually, she loves you very much. Mm. But your mother does not. Uh, yeah. So, who knows? It is quite possible that you stealing the ring were able to keep yourself from becoming nothing but, the three of you, from becoming nothing but a perfect, unchanging circle. 
that would be so disconnected from reality and its beauty that it would just freeze and you would never even really exist again. That's called humanity zero, by the way. It's so, so complicated. fucking creepy. <laughs> he made it up. He's the. I looked at that diagram and I said, "What the hell am I going to do with this? It's his fault." Yeah, 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 no, I know, I know. I had to make up all this stuff because of him. <laughs> <laughs> I need to drink. 